room for Clay Roberts in Toronto Blow. You've got our best bed. Uh, now it's it comes with a desk. It's, it's fully for. Oh no need, sir. The globes paid five down and expenses. George Brown himself sent the wire. I thought it was an important headline. McLaughlin told me I should keep my trap shut, but I'm better. So, you're at the inquiry then? Yeah. Well, pomp. Stop shirts, if I do say so myself. You ask me? I think well is lying. Done then. If it were, but I still have this headache. Any sign of the O'Connor boy? I'll let you know how that works out, Mr. Fox. Expecting some rain. Two cents. No, my, my wife gets sore if I come home all a mess. Oh, a hard woman. Not at all. I saw a fellow in town today with his shoes all a mess, though. That's dry weather. I haven't had but one pair to clean in weeks. Mine won't be the second. Sir, is this the best shoe shot in town? Just in case, you know, my wife. Only the finest. Ask Mr. O'Connor. Shine does this morning. Thank you. To the willing. The boy will reveal us all. You were a disguise. The crown will have Carolyn and I hang for this. You find that O'Connor boy and slit his throat. Ask Mr. O'Connor. Shine does this morning. Any sign of the O'Connor boy? I think I'm lying. everything at the inquest. It's just some routine questions. If the Donnelly homestead is just one lot over, it's, well, I mean, the boy says he was there, or here. I mean, he was there, then here. Do you have any real questions for me? Yeah. The boy 
boy is confused. I'm uh, here to speak to your son about the murders. I'm afraid he's not here. His father took him away after the inquest. Oh, let me help you. Thank you. Um, could you toss that out back? Has your uh, husband been back today? Just for a bite at lunch, and then off again. This dry spell must have put your water out in hard times. Many have suffered. We've been using the pond up by the old trapper's hut. Oh, you could just put it there. Would you like an apple? I doubt we'll get to them all. Thank you. I'm sorry I can't be of more help. That's okay. Thank you. What is it this time, Carol? I got another uh, job for you, Donovan. <laughs> if you find him. Come on out, Johnny. I won't hurt you a bit. Now I've got you. A reporter. Where's the boy? Oh boy. Here's your headline, reporter. Oh. That's a big headline. As I stand here at the Donnelly funeral, I cannot understand how this killing could have taken place. This terrible disgrace is not only on Lucan Village, but on every peace-loving citizen of Canada. I never knew there were men capable of such frightful butchery. And whether it be by the hand of God or by the hand of wicked men, we all stand before the judgment seat. 